Season 2, Episode 10. Brought to you with the Adventure Spec Magadan Panniers. To see more of Lyndon's thoughts on the Adventure Spec Magadan Panniers, click on the link in the description below. This, this dude's just brought a, um, a hedgehog. A hedgehog into the living quarters. Hello! Whoa! Hello! <laughs> Well, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We decided to take a day off here and have some rest. Really nice to have a day off with no pressures of visa for the first time. Um, we only made it out of Kazakhstan one day before our visa expired. Just a few words about Yana's place. Um, she's really taking care of us here, giving us lots of really nice food. Um, and she's got a lovely sauna that you can sit in. The first night when we arrived, the place was actually full. So uh, even though it was full and it was 11.30 when we arrived and everybody was, uh, let's say, well oiled on alcohol, <laughs> some of the tourists were staying here also, uh, the lights were on, we turned up and she came out to greet us and offered her, us her own bed and her own house to sleep in uh, for the night while she made room in the other, other building for us, which was super nice of her and we had the best night's sleep. I slept for like 10 and a half hours straight through. So. Uh, definitely needed to sleep, definitely needed to rest, and definitely needed the day off. Really nice to do that. And what better place to do it than in a log cabin in the middle of Russia. After another warm welcome homestay, the boys hit the road to a lodge up in the mountains. Altai region, Russia. So peaceful. We're on the road in the liaison between some off-roads, so we're just uh, taking our time on the roads. Saw Piggy Piglet at the side of the road, Mikey. Chilling out in the water. Loving it, isn't he? like Lyndon and Basil have picked up a hitchhiker. <laughs> and, now, and now for the debrief. How was it, Anna? It was really great. I'm really jealous of you. <laughs> <laughs> the mountain lodge the guys have booked into includes a free yoga class, which Lyndon feels is the perfect way to relax from the big miles he's been riding recently. Yes. Many times we all sit like this. Oh. Shoulder is feeling very stretched, hoping I can keep up the exercises and maybe it will get better because I've still got pain in my shoulder from the accident I had in the Hellas Rally in Greece. Uh, but overall, very relaxing day, a little bit of yoga, Thai massage, now time to hit the road again. Sometimes the road gets washed away and there is no way through but to go around. It's a pretty serious washout. The road is completely gone. With a new stream. The boys have now left Kazakhstan and are crossing into the southern tip of Russia. Linden has found himself at the Denisova Cave, 
which is in the Bashalaksky range of the Altai Mountains. So, just seen a sign at the side of the road for Denisova Cave. Um, so we thought we'd stop and go and take a look. It was 20 Russian rubles to take a look, so not a lot of money at all. Um, so we're going to go up to the cave now, go inside and take a look, see what's in there. The cave is of great paleoarchaeological interest. Bone fragments of the Denisova hominin, sometimes called the X-woman, referring to the maternal descent of mitochondrial DNA, originate from this cave. Decorative objects of bone, mammoth tusk, animal teeth and artefacts dated to 40,000 BC have been found here. The cave is located in a region thought to have been inhabited concurrently in the past by Neanderthals and modern humans. But today, it is inhabited by a member of the Poskett family. find their track needs to cross this rather large river. Our intended route is blocked in some way or another, be it a landslide or a broken bridge like this one. It's a real shame because our intended route was across this old suspension bridge. Um, it's quite crazy to think that the bridge was swept away probably as a result of a truck or a car being on top of it. Sometimes things get a little bit narrow. <laughs> it's definitely not what you're meant to do on a fully loaded travel bike. like they're in luck. Or should I say, they'll need luck to cross this suspension bridge that appears to have seen better days. Pretty nuts with all the holes in this bridge. Like totally just see through like the planks. Crazy. kids are pretty nuts and he's made it again as you can see there are plenty of holes it's about a 15 meter drop down to the water so if the bike goes through there then it's gone for sure Well, I've just explored this trail for, I don't know, about 20 kilometers or so. And you can clearly see that it just carries on going. I mean, you can barely see the trail, but it's like a little goat trail. It's really good fun exploring, but um, yeah, I don't know where it goes. It'd be fun to carry on, but I really need to get back to the main track to make some progress towards Mongolia. It's just following the river, but it's just so nice out here. Nobody around for miles. I'm riding on my own. 
Lucas is waiting back in the town and yeah, it's just great to be here. I turn around and well, I'll turn around this way, see the river in the background, I turn around again. You can see here the motorcycle just parked on the trail, little single track. This goes on for miles and miles and miles. I am not sorry to be here. As Lyndon said, it's a lot of fun exploring narrow off-road trails, but he and Basil have a date booked with Rally Mongolia, whose start date is rapidly approaching, so getting back on the big trails speeds things up. This, this area is not accessible by anything other than two wheels and four feet. Horses, goats, uh, humans and uh, motorcycle really. All the cars that you see here and trucks have been stranded at this side of the river since the suspension bridge fell, failed uh, and that was confirmed by some locals to me earlier. Uh, so these people basically live by fetching goods uh, by horseback from the village at the other side of the goat trail, horse trail, um, the other side of the fallen suspension bridge. Next time on Races to Places, Lyndon and Lucas realise they are not travelling alone. Hello and welcome to Siberia. You may think that we're travelling alone around here, but there's many, many other fens around us, known as mosquitoes. Brought to you with the Adventure Spec Magadan Panniers. To see more of Lyndon's thoughts on the Adventure Spec Magadan Panniers, click on the link in the description below.